So I'm uh, Malte Sandner. At the moment, I'm located at uh, UCL University College London. I got my PhD um, from Hanover in Germany. And um, I'm into uh, evaluating policies for families, for disadvantaged families. And yeah, I'm investigating how certain government policies, how they affect disadvantaged families and um, in particular the children, but not just the children, um, also the whole family. Policies I'm interested actually um, in early childhood interventions, but also in um, policies like uh, child care expan um, expansion, um, uh, welfare transfers, and um, how these um, policies yeah, affect, on the one hand, child development, but I'm also interested in the effects of these policies on like fertility, on maternal well-being, and I think um, that we already know quite a lot, or at least some, um, or we have some answers how these kind of policies affect child development, but I think there is still quite a lot of open questions how other outcomes, how um, yeah, family outcomes are affected by these kind of policies. And um, because many early childhood interventions or transfers um, yeah, affecting not just a child, uh, not just a child, but also the whole family. And um, yeah, my research uh, is located in Germany, actually. And I think this is quite interesting because in Germany, um, yeah, we have quite a, a generous welfare state with little work requirements for um, mothers with young children and quite a strong system of um, compulsory checkups during pregnancy and um, when children are, are directly after birth. And yeah, quite a strong health insurance financed uh, medical system. So probably more than in other countries in Germany, um, disadvantaged mothers receive some support. But still there is a large um, gap in health and child development by socioeconomic status. It might be interesting how, what additional effect some special kind of policies have in an in a environment like this. What makes my research exciting, or exciting for me, is that we actually find some surprising differences between the German setting and um, yeah, research which was conducted in other countries like the US or in England. I'm using um, field experiments and uh, natural experiments. So, um, yeah, I'm able to identify the causal um, impacts of certain policies and what I'm, uh, what I'm particularly interested in is using different data sets, um, not just like assessments or survey data, but also using administrative data and linking these data with survey and um, assessment data. And I think this is a quite good um, approach to get newer result, uh, better results and make an advantage um, in comparison to yeah, the state of um, knowledge we have. Due to administrative data, it is possible to answer additional questions than just using survey and assessment data. Uh, I work, for example, with health insurance data. Um, one aspect is that um, it is um, in a way, yeah, we have uh, quite a large um, sample size, of course, because the data is um, available for um, large sizes of the population. But also it measures health quite 
um, in a very sufficient way and in a way where it is really possible to identify um, different kind of diseases um, a child has. And um, yeah, I think this is a big advantage um, in comparison to survey data. Or in another project, um, I work, um, I, I use a field experiment, a randomized uh, controlled trial, and I merge um, the data from um, this randomized controlled trial with um, data from the German Social Security um, Administration. And so we have access to reliable data and to um, data which is available for completely available for all participating people in this program. One other thing what um, really uh, got my attention um, yeah, in, the, or in the last years and I, I hope to continue with this in future is um, how these kind of policies I mentioned, um, early childhood interventions, child care um, expansion or transfers to families, how, this, um, how these policies affect preferences um, of children. And because I think there is preferences are very important for um, economic outcomes, for um, labor market success and uh, many other outcomes. But we actually have quite little knowledge about how policies, um, in particular for disadvantaged families, affect um, the um, formation of preferences. When I combine these different data sources and additionally um, collect data about preferences in experiments, um, and then combining all these data sources, I think we can learn quite a lot how preferences, um, yeah, how preferences develop uh, in children and how they are, um, how they are affected by uh, policies and um, by the environment um, and the um, early life conditions almost no knowledge how adverse parenting and in the strongest case child abuse or child neglect affects preferences. And um, in this field, which is very interdisciplinary because um, yeah, psychologists are, or developmental psychologists, they're into measuring what is child neglect and um, abuse in the strongest case. But yeah, working together with uh, development psychologists can probably um, enable us to judge w what kind of um, neglect and um, um, abuse or has, an, or has an impact on preferences and other outcomes and um, on which outcomes and how strong the effect is. And um, yeah, probably to develop better prevention policies and interventions to um, yeah, circumvent adverse parenting.